Fox 2's Dave Kinchin is live in Chesterfield Township with what we know tonight. Dave. Yeah, this is an incredible tragedy on so many levels and so many communities hurting tonight, including the Detroit news community losing one of their own in this tragedy. And we are updating our top story this afternoon, and it's one that's hitting home for us here at WWJ, and it's uh, very difficult to report. Our overnight news anchor, Jim Matthews, was killed this afternoon in Chesterfield Township. The news hitting close to home for WWJ News Radio 950 anchor Jackie Page and her colleagues while live on air covering what Chesterfield Township police call a murder attempted suicide on Bayview Drive off of Hooker Road. Journalist Jim Matthews killed and his girlfriend and their two kids hurt in a stabbing that happened midday Friday. I think it's crazy. I. I can't make sense of it. Police say they were called to the home around noon after a devastating attack took place. They say Matthew's girlfriend, a 35 year old woman, escaped the horrifying scene with their five year old daughter. Investigators say the woman had been stabbed multiple times. The little girl was also hurt and their 10 year old boy also found tied up in a closet with head trauma. Police tell Fox 2 the woman flagged down a passing driver who called 911. I just got a ton of phone calls and telling me what happened and she was laying outside bound and gagged. Authorities say they found the 54 year old male suspect in the basement overdosing and suffering from self inflicted wounds. Cops say a gun was not involved. Something like this, I never would have expected it in a million years. Fox 2's Charlie Langton also reports for WWJ and knew Jim Matthews well. And so when he was off at 5 a.m., I was coming in at 5 a.m. So I would see him, always had a nice word, always had something good to say. Um, he's just a, a, just a great guy. His colleagues fighting through their emotions as they remembered the good times. He would often talk to co-workers about his children and his love for them and their adventures at school. He was a consummate professional and was dedicated to WWJ and the broadcasting industry. He loved delivering the latest news to his listeners every night. There have been many tears shed in our newsroom this afternoon. Our thoughts and our prayers go out to Jim's family and friends. A nearby elementary school was on lockdown amid the chaos. Now tonight, police say the woman and boy are both in critical condition at a hospital. The five-year-old girl is in stable condition. And Fox 2 sources, Fox 2 spoke with the Macomb County prosecutor tonight. And the prosecutor says that the suspect tried to overdose on heroin and was brought back with Narcan. We are told that he was an invited guest into the home and also that he's in stable condition at an area hospital tonight as well. Reporting live in Chesterfield Township, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. All right, Dave, look, we know that Hillary was out there the, the earlier today. You're out there tonight. We do see police out there behind you. Can you kind of give us a sense of what is happening now and what may happen over the next few hours? Well, and I'll step out uh, just a little bit here and uh, we can zoom in a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there's still the crime scene response team uh, here. There's uh, several police cars and uh, lights on in many houses. I'm sure no one's really getting a lot of sleep tonight, of course. Crime tape's still up. So they're still processing this scene, gathering what they can. And uh, as uh, they work probably throughout the night to try to piece all of this together and as neighbors try to process all of the day's events. Brandon. Dave Kinchin reporting live in Chesterfield Township. Thank you.